Can we beat the odds on 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby? Let's find out on Beat the Odds Card Breaks. Hello sport card collectors and welcome back to another episode of Beat the Odds Card Breaks. We are going to be cracking into one master box of 2020 Bowman Chrome. Um, before we get into that, quick subscriber plug. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. You are the reason why we are growing. Uh, when we hit 250 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway and one person will win either the Boba Chet rookie card or the Illusions pack from 2019-2020 uh, in basketball. So we'll clear this out of the way here. And we are going to get started on this master box. Not gonna lie, a little nervous. Um, there is a lot of really nice stuff to, to find in here. We've opened up some Chrome already and actually one opening, a, a break that we did, hit our top 10 board of the nicest cards that I pulled this year. So I'm kind of hoping that we get similar luck out of this hobby box. So we're gonna crack into it. Um, there's gonna be two mini boxes inside. Each mini box is going to have five packs, I believe, and one auto. So here is the master, the master is out. The mini boxes are here. So these are really cool packaging. I'm, pro I'm, I'm probably gonna hang on to this packaging. I apologize, six packs per mini box, five chrome cards per pack. So there's 30 cards in each one of these here. Shout out to, uh, to Breakaway Sports. Breakaway Sports cards in Hamilton for these hobby boxes took a little time to get here but that's kind of par for the course for what's going on in christmas and then compound the fact that we are still fighting this pandemic but they arrived safe and sound and very well packaged i was very impressed and now we get the luxury of finding out what is inside so i'm hoping for um a really cool auto. Uh, hoping for some nice color. Some nice rookie cards there as well. So inside the box, of course, there's going to be six packs. Here they are. Empty box, of course. Let's put that to the side. Well, we'll put that actually in the back. There we go. All right. Here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, the top pack has the auto, so we're just going to push that to the back, save that to the end, and we're just going to get cracking. Um, as we like to do here on the channel, we will, well, actually, you know, before we get too far into that there, let's show you guys the odds, because it is beat the odds card breaks, but uh, after all here, you guys can kind of see um, what we're looking for, and there's a no purchase necessary information on the bottom there as well, if you wanted to send that off to get uh, a couple cards, that's always cool little thing to do okay let's let's hope for the best here we are gonna start with a Shogo Akiyama there's a Kyle Lewis that's a good start I'll take that and then we've got an Ivan Herrera this is gonna be the Arizona Fall League insert and then we've got a Yusnel Diaz prospect card and a Mike Siani so that is a good start. I will take that. Just trying to see if I can locate some sleeves here so we can get a sleeve on a Kyle Lewis. The drawback to this set, if there is one, is that you're not gonna find a bunch of the, uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot of first Bowmans in this set. You will find it in the autos, but unfortunately you won't find it in the base prospects. So if you're looking to, if you're trying to hunt for first Bowman's, this isn't going to be the set for you. Um, that being said, if you are really excited about the Bowman Chrome uh, base cards, which I actually really like the base cards, like the rookie cards from this year in Bowman Chrome, they look really, really nice. That's what I'm in it for. Um, and then of course, if I can hit a good prospect or two, that'd be nice too. Matthew Boyd, Trey Mancini, Kanan Smith, stat tracker. So there's a couple extra inserts in this that you won't find in the uh, 
in the mega box set here is a Bobby Witt Jr. That's all right. We'll take that. And a Francisco Alvarez right behind that. So those are two pretty solid cards there. We'll put those on the board for now. Actually, we'll get some sleeves on those. I believe Bobby Witt has an auto in this set here too, as does Francisco Alvarez. So those would be decent ones to hit, of course. Truthfully, I'm hoping for a first, and I'm hoping for it not to be a pitcher. And if we could get a little bit of color, that'd be nice too. And if I could open up this pack, that'd be nice too. Holy cow. That pack just did not open nearly as nice as I'd hoped. Maybe that's a good sign. Eddie Rosario. Hold in. Oh, there is a refractor, kind of caught me off guard there, Mason Denneberg. And how about that? Case hit. Nice. Farm to fame. Carl Yastrzemski. Now, this one's not numbered. I do happen to have a farm to fame Wade Boggs that was an orange. This one's probably going to be just the base, yeah. But uh, still a cool card to get. We'll put him on the board there. Uh, we've got an Adonis Medina and a Sean Gel. Or Gel or Jelly or whatever his name is. Okay. So Denneberg to 499, not bad. Truthfully, I kind of would have hoped that we would have had a nicer color, but we'll take just the refractor there, the farm to fame Carl Yastrzemski. We'll take that too. That doesn't come out very often. I would have put on there uh, what the odds are to hit that Farm to Fame insert. Okay. Well, let's see what we get in here. This looks like this actually might be the auto, so I might have misplaced the auto here. But let's just take a look. Reese Hoskins. Yeah, this looks like it's probably the auto. So I'm going to leave this one down here for now. We'll keep that to last. Shane Baz and Keone Kavako is going to be the prospects. Two packs left before we hit that auto. We got a judge to start us off. And there's a Bryce Harper and another insert coming. This is Stat Tracker Joe Ryan. And there's a Monte Harrison and then finally a Diego Cartaya prospect card there. Here's the last one. Last pack of the first box. Good rookie to start us off. Nico Horner. There's an Aristides Aquino. Another good rookie there. And that is a Dawn of Glory. I believe that's Lewin Diaz. Yeah, Lewin Diaz, Dawn of Glory. Uh, Jackson Rutledge. And then finally a Dalton Varsho. And now for the autograph. Okay, here we go. Actually... I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show it from the back. We'll use the Aquino to kind of showcase it from the back here. What do we have? A.S. Um, I don't know who this is going to be. Oh, Alex Spees. Oh, no. I have his auto already. Or I pulled his auto, I should say. Uh, Alex Spees. We've seen him in one of our... Uh, breaks before not exactly the autograph that you're hoping for and it looks like it's got a man it's got some damage to that card too it's got a couple of dimples and some scratches and everything that's unfortunate so not too hot on auto number one but we'll leave them up there for now let's crack into the second box here and let's hope that we get better luck out of this box that first box, not bad. 
Not bad. Definitely disappointed in the auto. Because the autos are really kind of what I'm hoping to get here. It's hoping for a little more than an Alex Spees, but we will take what we can get. So there's a purple in this. Xander Bogarts. There's a Cody Bellinger. Let's see what we get for a purple here. Purple Shimmer, which means I'm pretty sure this is not going to be numbered. Matt Manning. Purple Shimmer. There's an Isaac Paredes. Yeah, that's not going to be numbered there. We'll put them down below. Isaac Paredes and Ethan Hearn to finish off that pack. Here we go. Pack number two. Justin Verlander. We have an insert in this one. Miguel Cabrera. The insert is going to be Greg Diekman. Uh, Oakland Athletics. That's the Arizona Fall League insert. These are nice looking. I like the look of these. William Contreras and Jeremiah Jackson are going to be the prospects in that one. Pack number three. Michael Baez. Looks like we got another insert coming. Jose Abreu. Insert is Sam Huff, stat tracker. 37.0 hard hit percentage. Tanner Huck. And Cole Roterer. So, not going to lie, I was kind of hoping at some point I would hit the Jason Dominguez prospect card in here too. That would be nice. Or the Robert Passan. I hit the Robert Passan. Here's the autograph here. We'll see that one till last. I hit the Robert Passan uh, in that uh, group break. That was a crazy, crazy hit. The auto, the green auto to 99. Man, that was such a nice card. There's another thick card in here by the looks of it. We might have another color maybe. Oh, this one besides I want to get out. There we go. Uh, Son Diaz going to start this pack off. I don't know what's going on here. Actually, I think that the other one, this might be the auto here. Now that it looks at it. Now, now that I look at it, that could be the auto there. So we'll save that one. Royce Lewis is going to cover at the back. Um, and Luis Garcia. So let's just crack this pack open here because I think this one just might be a color. Yeah, it's a blue. Okay, Seth Brown. We'll show the back cards here. Matt Manning, who we got the purple earlier. And Kyle Isbell. And then behind Josh Bell. Let's get a batter. Kansas City, oh, no. Jackson Kowar to 150. So a nice color there, but uh, not, not looking for pitchers in this, unfortunately. But we'll put them on the board. Uh, let's see, I think I'll take off the Alvarez and we'll put Jackson Kowar on the board here. And let's move the auto to the front and crack into our last pack. Here we go. Cattell Marte. Shell the Noisy. Uh, George Kirby. Walks per nine. There's a Marco Luciano. And then the last card in this pack is going to be a Vidal Brujan. All right, here we go. So Willie Calhoun. Yeah, Royce Lewis was covering the back. Let's see who we get. KK. Carl Kaufman, a pitcher. Gosh, two pitchers. That's real unfortunate. First though, it's the first Bowman, so I guess I can't complain with that. Carl Kaufman, Colorado, first Bowman, uh, second rounder. It is what it is. That's going to be the best pull of the video. I'll actually put a sleeve on it there.
and we'll move him to the best pull spot. I guess we'll have to put the speeds up there because, you know, it is, after all, a an autograph and you can't sneeze on an autograph. Um, we'll pull the Denneberg, I think. Put the speeds on there and that's going to do it. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, for the contest, real easy. Just give me your uh, your pick for the best pull of the video. Make sure though that you've subscribed and you've liked the video already. Turn the notification bell on and uh, make sure your subscriptions are set to public so I can see it. And then just let me know what your best pull or what the best pull of this video was, and we will get you in on a free dice roll in one of our live breaks. That's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you for watching. Um, we are going to sign off for now, but we will catch you guys on our next episode.